Hey everybody, welcome back to Mike's Wooden Things and Stuff. I went shopping for a shop vac today. Well, okay. Shop vac is like, it's like Kleenex and Zamboni. It's, it's actually a brand name of wet dry vacuum. But everybody calls, doesn't everybody just call every wet dry vacuum a shop vac? Um, <laughs> this, it's a good start. This is a good start to a video. Um, I went shopping for a new wet dry vacuum today. <laughs> Uh, and I went into Home Depot thinking I was going to grab a rigid, but they had this pallet of DeWalt wet dry vax on for 99 bucks a pop. And uh, specs told me that they were better, com comparable, if not better, than the rigid that I was going to go look at for a buck 49. So I gave it a shot. And I'm going to go get it from the truck. I was going to bring it in and open it and start vacuuming stuff. And then I thought, well, just turn the camera on and show the folks. So come, let's do an unboxing of this DeWalt 10 gallon, I think. We'll find out when I get it out of the truck. Uh, DeWalt shop vac unboxing and uh, testing today. And don't forget, if you like what I do here on the channel, you can head over to patreon.com slash wooden things and stuff and uh, help me out. Over there. All right, let's uh, let's go get this thing out of the truck. I'm excited. I hope it sucks. <laughs> Dewalt. 10 gallon, five peak horsepower, silver. This is fresh. Stainless steel. It was a, yeah, I said the same thing on the other side. Stainless steel, wet dry vacuum. Like I said, I didn't know DeWalt made shop vacs. Uh, maybe they just started. Maybe this is a new release by DeWalt, but I am unfamiliar. So let's have a look. We'll get into it, see what we're dealing with. And we'll give it uh, we'll give it a test because I'm selling my miter saw finally and it's gonna live this is gonna live under the bench where my miter saw went. But first we gotta vacuum up under the bench where the miter saw was. Alright, let's get in. Looks like it might just be one of these just lifted straight out and it's all together and ready to go kind of situations. Maybe there are some loose parts rattling around in there, but let's dig them. Oh. Some kind of some kind of fanny pack kind of situation here. I'm not sure what that's about. A couple of tubes. Drumming, I guess. Hope I didn't just crack that. Sounded like I might have cracked that. <laughs> no, I don't think so. All right. Well, hey. I bet all the stuff is on the inside of that that I need to attach to the outside of that. There go my tubes. This thing. Looks like it fits on here. Oh, yeah. Maybe you should read. 10 gallon stainless steel wet dry vacuum. Oh, yeah, it comes with some stuff. I bet they're all inside. See, oh, okay. We got like elasticized or rubberized bungee hold down thing there. And then some clicks. There's a hose. A couple of casters. A couple more casters. Locking casters? No, I thought I saw a lock on one of them. No, guess not. And then all your attachment deals. And this guy. Get this one with the brush. 
got the little nozzle to get into areas. We got a different shape nozzle to get into areas. Okay, so four, four of those comes with a bag. Good thing. And four little screws. Oh, maybe for the casters. I'm betting for the casters. I'm wondering, is that what this little bag is for? It's like all the little bit? It's got a fanny pack so that you can hold all your adapter things. What does it say? What does it say? Car nozzle? What's a car nozzle? Which one's the car nozzle? I? Oh, it's a car nozzle. You use this one in your car. You can't use those ones in your car. Uh, bet I can. Uh, do, 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 do. Alright, I'm going to make sure that these screws are for the casters. Unpacking and set up property. Bread. Words. Uh, da, 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 da. Before replacing the power head, why would I do that? This is the unpacking and setup summary. It said before replacing the power head, refer to this manual to ensure you have the proper filter. Why would I replace the power head in a new vacuum? That better not be a thing I have to do. Okay, yep, the screws are for the casters. Uh, it's just a plug and play. Let's get the casters on and we'll, uh, I'm gonna take this out because I gotta flip this, no, not. Flip this over. What just came out? Oh. These things came out of the fanny pack. <laughs> okay. Oh, shiny blue bottom. Check this out. Ooh. No idea why that's so shiny and blue, <laughs> but it is. All right, get casters on. You guys don't need to watch me install casters, I don't think. Oh yeah, super easy. There's a little triangular get up there. And there's a triangular get up on this. Ooh, hard to do with one hand though. You should, you should do this with two hands if you're gonna do this. And just drops right in. And then the screw goes in back there. And the casters are on. So I'm going to screw those on. Flip it back over. Plug it in. And we're going to start sucking. <laughs> Let's suck some things. Some dust. Oh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to clean out the inside of my bandsaw today. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to screw these on. I'll come back. All right. Casters on. It's rolling. Bag going in. Just slides. It's got this little rubber gasket dealy. It just slides over the entry port on the inside. There you go. Ooh. You don't go anywhere. Just deal. That'll clip on right there. It's got a little hook. Come here. It's got a little hook that hooks into a little notch. And now that is theoretically secured. This guy, somebody's having problems with a truck out there. And this guy, in there. You know, what good is this? It doesn't, okay, I thought this like held it down, but it's just like, a for no reason, like elasticized strap that's like, all right, whatever, I don't know. Uh, okay. Get this field back on. Oh, nice. It's not a typical like up grab, it just clicks. That's kind of cool. Uh, we want our things back in our fanny pack, which I still don't know if that's what it's for, but. I don't know what else you would want to put in there. What's this? Lock. It's a lock. Why would you want to lock your shotgun? Oh, it's a drain for if you're doing 
wet operations, you, your dishwasher explodes. This is a little bit of your drain port down there. And we'll put this away so we don't cut ourselves on it. And let's do some sucking. Let's clean out the bandsaw. Yeah. All right. Okay, so I don't know how loud this is going to be because some shop vacs, so shop vacs are uh, like screamy loud, like high pitched whine kind of loud. So I'm going to put my, uh, my earbuds in. I will turn down the volume in post production so that you guys don't get blown eardrums if you're listening to this. Uh, but I will. I will let you know after the fact, like how bad it is. But let's uh, let's get into the Rikon here. Let's use ah, let's use the car. I <laughs> want the car one. Well, tell me what I have to use the nozzles for, Dewalt. Actually, that's not too bad. That's significantly quieter than some shop vacs. Nice. Nice. Oh, it's going to be nice to have a vacuum again. I did have a shop vac for a little while uh, in the shop. But it wasn't handy. Like, it was stashed away in a cupboard. And I just didn't, yeah, I just swept instead. But I'm selling the miter saw so it can live under the bench so that hopefully it gets used a lot. Because I'm sick of sweeping and dust going everywhere. Uh, sucks. <laughs> it does, certainly does suck. Uh, okay, let's go over some of the things that I first impression like and first impression don't over at the bench. I'm going to sit down. Well, there it is. It's, uh, it sucks. <laughs> uh, that's fun to say. Uh, it's a, you know, okay. It has more suction than any shop vac I've ever had. Uh, it's quieter than any shop vac I've ever had. Um, I do, I like these clips that aren't like a, an up and then pull thing. Um, I like that it's got, I don't know why some power cords don't have the little thing that attaches the plug part to the cord itself for when you're wrapping around things. I don't understand why some people make those that don't have that. So this has that. Um, I don't like that I am gonna have to find an adapter for this it's a one and seven eighths inch hose. So I'm gonna have to find an adapter of some kind to attach it to sanders. And uh, it might actually slap straight on the oscillating spindle belt sander. Pretty sure it's going to go straight on the jointer, which is going to be super handy, as long as I have enough power to run them both at the same time, which I don't know if I do. <laughs> I would also like a little thinner nozzle to get into little crevices. The thinnest of them is three quarters of an inch. So I would, if they had something that tapered down a little more to get into places that'd be cool uh, but yeah it's uh so far i am pleased with my purchase it was a hundred bucks um and like i said i don't know if this is a new entry into the market for dewalt i've never seen a dewalt uh wet dry vacuum but so far so good if it craps out on me in a month i will be sure to let you guys know but right now I'm happy with my suck.
<laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, let's not knock it off the bench on the first day. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Have a good one. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. And etc. Go make something in the shop. Oh, that kid just about just fell off his skateboard. <laughs>